energy. Every time you step on the floor, you, you bring that energy and that edge, and, and your teammates and coaches talk about it all the time. Can you just speak to kind of the effort that it took for your group to overcome a 22-point deficit while your opponent is shooting 50% from the three-point line? Yeah, it was, uh, it was tough at the beginning. Uh, we came into halftime. Uh, G. Hill gave us a, a good speech at half, and uh, we came out and responded. Uh, I mean, they were hitting some tough shots, and we knew if we stayed with it the whole night, then, you know, some of those shots would come out a little bit. So uh, we was able to do that, and we was able to stay persistent through the whole game, and, uh, and that's what got us the W. Nick Gallo, Thunder Broadcasting. Kenrich, you uh, had the slap away of the rebound at the end of regulation. You were kind of in the mix at uh, the last shot of being in overtime. What's your mindset heading into kind of those final defensive stand plays? Um, personally, I, I take pride in just, in just getting a stop, you know what I mean? Uh, especially when the game's on the line. Um, and, and that's what I'm on the floor to do. Uh, I'm on the floor to get stops. Do the little things for the team to help the team win. And uh, that's what I was able to do tonight. Just as an unrelated follow up, we tell me about the, your little post up late uh, over White. Uh, you know, maybe not something that you're you're doing 10 times a game, but uh, it worked for you there down the stretch. Well, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it was big. Uh, I kind of got kind of lost in between. I didn't know what to do. And, you know, I was, I was a little bigger than him, so I just tried to, you know, put him on my back. Royce Young with ESPN. Hey, Kendrick, uh, quick question about kind of random. Um, but as you guys were making that comeback and you're on the court making big plays, it to me, it was noticeable the fake crowd noise got pretty loud. Um, it, as a player on the court, are, are you hearing that? And does does the fake crowd noise like help sustain the momentum at all? Uh, I mean, yeah, sure, it does. <laughs> uh, <laughs> It's kind, of, it's kind of weird, but it, it definitely, you can definitely tell. Uh, I mean, if it affects, like, players, I mean, the other team, I mean, I guess uh, just as far as they're not able to, to hear the teammates as well, um, coaches as well. Uh, so, yeah, I say, I say it definitely uh, it was helpful for us tonight. Joe Masato with the Oklahoman. Yeah, Kenrich, you've, your role has been, you know, a little inconsistent from game to game, whether you're in the rotation or out of the rotation. What was it like for you to be out there with that closing group tonight? Uh, it was great. It was great to uh, be able to bring it home, bring home the win. Um, you know, I just love playing the game regardless of who I'm out there with. Uh, I try to compete as hard as I can. And, uh, you know, it was big. Tonight was big. Uh, we had momentum going into overtime, so, uh, you know, it was huge for us. Thank you. 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 Thank you